Our first contender tonight is Michael Benbow, an administrator from Newcastle. He's answering questions on the Discworld novels. Next, Suraj Anand, a business development manager from Derby. His subject, Mahatma Gandhi. Tony Fleet is a lawyer from York. He's answering questions on the Boston Marathon. And Pam Poole from Lincolnshire. Her subject is Top Ten Singles. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. The rules do not change, but that doesn't mean anything can be taken for granted. The contenders have no idea what to expect, especially when it comes to the general knowledge round. But they have volunteered to be here tonight because of the glittering prize being dangled before them at the end of the ordeal. The ownership of a rather lovely glass bowl and, more importantly, the title Mastermind Champion. The rules are simple, two minutes on their specialist subject and two and a half minutes on general knowledge. So let's ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Michael Benbow. Your occupation? Administrator. And your chosen subject? The Discworld novels of Sir Terry Pratchett. Discworld novels. In two minutes, Discworld lies on the shoulders of four giant elephants that stand on the back of a 10,000-mile-long sky turtle as it swims through space. What's the turtle called? Greater Tuin. Yep, in which novel is Moist von Lichwig appointed master of the Royal Mint of Ankh-Morpork by Lord Vetinari? Making money. Yes, the largest city on Discworld, Ankh-Morpork, has what nickname after an ugly, smelly fruit? The Big Wahoonie. Yep, the librarian of Unseen University is an orangutan. He plays for the Unseen Academicals football team in which position? Goalkeeper. Yep. In The Amazing Morris and His Educated Rodents, what is the title of the children's book that some of the rats believe is a vision of the future? Uh, Pass. Which character whose speech is always represented in capital letters adopts the name Bill Dorr when he gets a job on a farm? Death. Yes. What phrase that is used repeatedly in small gods is a translation of the words De Calonian Mobile, which were found on a scroll of paper? The turtle moves. Yes. Which village was named after a disobedient donkey and was the birthplace of Escarina, the world's first female wizard? Badass. Yes, the novel Monstrous Regiment is mainly set in the country of Borogravia, where the population worships a god who's said to consider both chocolate and the colour blue to be abominations. What's he called? Nugget. Yep, in the fifth elephant, which baked artefact has apparently been stolen from a cave in the town of Bonk just days after a replica was stolen in Ankh Morpork? The Scone of Stone. Yes, what is the name of the teenage witch who's a very skilled cheesemaker and is the central character in the last Discworld novel, The Shepherd's Crown? Tiffany A. Yes, in Night Watch, Sam Vimes finds a young woman called Jocasta Wiggs treading water in his cesspit. Which of the city's guilds had sent her to his house? The Guild of Assassins. Yes, Death once rode a skeleton horse but gave up on it because bits used to fall off. He now rides a flesh and blood white horse with what name? Binky. Yes, on Discworld, the eighth son of an eighth son of an eighth son is a wizard squared and is known by what name? Sorcerer. Yeah. What is the name of the homicidal travelling chest made of sapient pear wood that first appears in the colour of magic? It has a large number of little legs that enable it to follow its owner wherever he goes. The luggage. The luggage is right. You had just one pass in The Amazing Morris and his educated rodents. The title of that children's book was Mr Bunsey has... An adventure, which is no more or less ridiculous than all the other (laughs) questions and answers. But there we go. You knew an awful lot about them. (laughs) Michael, you have 14 points. (laughs) And our next contender, please. And your name is? Suraj Anand. Your occupation? Business Development Manager. And your chosen subject? Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi. Two minutes. What term derived from the Sanskrit for truth did Gandhi use for his policy of non-violent resistance? Satya. No, Satyagraha. When Gandhi was 13 years old in 1882, he was married to a child of around his own age. What was her name? Kasturba. Yes. Gandhi served as a member of the executive committee of a society while he was studying law in London. Which society? Theosophical Society, the Vegetarian Society. Yes. During Gandhi's journey from Durban to Pretoria, he was forced to leave a train at Peter Maritzburg after he refused to do what? 
get off the train of the first class compartment? Yes. In 1893, when he had failed to establish a law practice in India, Gandhi accepted an offer to go to South Africa to work on a civil case. What was his fee for his year's work? Uh, 1,000 pounds. No, 105 pounds. The community established by Gandhi and his followers near Johannesburg was named after a Russian author with whom Gandhi had corresponded. Which author? Tolstoy. Yes. Gandhi was sentenced to six years' imprisonment for sedition in 1922, but he was released less than two years later after he had surgery for what medical condition? Appendicitis. Yes. In 1930, Gandhi organised a mass act of civil disobedience that involved walking from Sabamati to Dandi to protest against what tax? Assault. Time. Yes. On his journey from the UK back to India in December 1931, Gandhi stayed for several days with which writer in Switzerland? Roman Roland. Correct. After Gandhi met the Viceroy Lord Irwin in 1931, which British politician made a speech referring to a seditious Middle Temple lawyer striding half-naked up the steps of the Viceregal Palace to parley on equal terms with the representative of the King Emperor? Winston Churchill. Yes. Gandhi was arrested in August 1942 and imprisoned in which building? Um... Uh... Governor's Bengal. The Aga Khan's palace. What was Gandhi ordered to remove when he visited the law courts in Durban for the first time? He refused and left the courtroom in protest. Turban. Yes. Gandhi was murdered on the 30th of January 1948 while he was walking to a prayer meeting. Who killed him? Nathuram Gotsi. Yes. Raj Kumar Shukla persuaded Gandhi to intervene in a dispute between farmers and landlords in Champaran in Bihar in 1917. Which crop was the cause of the dispute? Indigo. Indigo, yes, indeed. No passes, Siraj, you have 11 points. Thank you. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Tony Fleet. Your occupation? Lawyer. And your chosen subject? The history of the Boston Marathon. The Boston Marathon in two minutes. Here we go. In which town west of Boston did the marathon course start from the race's inception in 1897 until 1924 when it was moved to Hopkinton to match the international marathon standard distance? Ashland. Yep. Students at a women's college traditionally line the route, cheering so loudly that the stretch is known as the Scream Tunnel. Which college? Wesley. Yep. Who set a men's course record of two hours, ten minutes and thirty seconds when he became the first Briton to win the race in 1970? Ron Hill. Correct. The runners passed the 26 mile mark on Bolston Street and crossed the finishing line in front of what public building established in 1848? Pass. In 1986, the male and female winners, Robert de Castella and Ingrid Christiansen, were awarded prize money and a car. What brand of car were they given? Mercedes-Benz. Yes. In the wake of the bombing of the 2013 marathon, a two-word term and slogan of defiance in the face of tragedy was used. What was it? Boston Strong. Yes. What is the name of the German runner who became the first athlete to win three successive Boston marathons in the official women's event between 1994 and 96? Uta Pippig. Yep. Runners from which country have won the men's open division 21 times between 1988 and 2017? Kenya. Correct. In which year did Bob Hall become the first officially recognised wheelchair participant in the Boston marathon? He finished in under three hours. 1975. Correct. In 1966, who became the first woman to complete the Boston marathon? Marathon, although she didn't have an official start number because at the time it was a men-only race. Bobby Gibb. Yep. What nickname, after an incident in 1936, is given to the major hill of about 700 yards that the runners encounter just after the 20-mile mark? Heartbreak Hill. Yes. How many of the 15 starters for the first Boston Marathon in 1897 actually completed the race? 11. 10. Who won the first of his seven Boston Marathon titles in 1911 and the last 19 years later in 1930? Clarence DeMar. Yes. The last American female winner of the Boston Marathon, up to and including the 2017, was Lisa Larsen Weidenbach in 1985. Who was the last American male to win it? Uh, Med Kefalasigi. Yes. I, 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 you're right, but I can't pronounce it either. Anyway, one pass. The finishing line is in front of the Boston Public Library. You've scored, Tony, 12 points. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Pam Poole. Your occupation? Retired Royal Mail Manager. And your chosen subject? UK Top Ten Singles, 1963 to 1973. 
In two minutes, starting now. Which song gave Roy C a top ten hit in 1966 when it reached number six and again in 73 when it reached number eight? Shotgun Wedding. Yep. Under what name did the Belgian vocalist Janine Deckers have a UK top ten hit in 1963 with the song Dominique? The Singing Nun. Yes. On which record label did the Kinks have 13 top ten singles in the UK from 1964 to 70? Hi. Yep. What is the title of Elton John's first top ten single that reached number seven in February 1971? Your song. Yes. Don't you think it's time reached number six in 1963 for Mike Berry and which backing group? The Cruisers. The Outlaws. The composer Bert Bacharach with his orchestra and chorus had a top five single as a performer under his own name in 1965. What was it called? Trains and Boats and Planes. Yes. Which American singer's last UK top ten hit single was Keep Searching, We'll Follow the Sun, which peaked at number three in February 1965? Del Shannon? Yep. The American-born singer PJ Proby had top ten hit singles with Somewhere and which other song from the stage musical West Side Story? Maria. Yes. In 1973, Mud and Susie Quattro both had top ten hits in the UK on a record label that had been set up by their manager, the record producer Mickey Most, in 1969. What was it called? Rack. Yes. The British singer Matt Munro had his last top ten hit in 1965 with a cover version of which Beatles song? It reached number eight. Somewhere? Yesterday. The former Tornado's bass player Heinz had a 1963 solo number five hit with Just Like Eddie. It was a tribute to which rock and roll legend? Eddie Cochran. Yep. What was the only UK top ten single for the American group The Lemon Pipers in 1968? Guantanamara. Green Tambourine. Which Scottish singer's first top ten single without her backing band The Lovers was Leave a Little Love that reached number eight in 1965? Lulu. Yes, which pop star of the late 50s and early 60s had his last top ten hit single with the first time that reached number five in October 63? Pass. Well, I can <laughs> tell you now because you're out of time. It was Adam Faith. Oh, yeah. He knew it, didn't he? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. That's the way it goes in that chair. <laughs> anyway, Pamela, you have ten points. Thank you. So that's the end of the first round, a very close one. Let's have a look at all the scores. Fourth place with 10 points, Pam. Third place, 11 points, Suraj. Second place, 12 points, Tony. First place, 14 points, Michael. <laughs> so it is the general knowledge round now, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, then there has to be a tie break. So let's ask Pam to join us again, please. And uh, you start out, Pam, with your ten points. Two and a half minutes of general knowledge, of course, so loads of time to catch up and overtake the field. Here we go. The one-humped Arabian, or dromedary, and the two-humped Bactrian are species of which animal? Camel. Yep. Which highwayman's life is romanticised in William Harrison Ainsworth's 1834 novel, Rookwood? Dick Turpin. Yep. The term radioactivity was coined by a scientist famed for her investigation of that phenomenon. Who was she? Marie Curie. Yes. Nicholas Lindhurst made the transition from child star to adult roles when he played Ben and Rhea Parkinson's teenage son, Adam, in which television series? Butterflies. Yes. Whose diary was saved for posterity, partly by the actions of Meep Gies? Anne Frank. Yes. What name did the future Prime Minister, Henry Campbell, add to his surname as a condition of his inheritance of his maternal uncle's estate in 1871? Bannerman. Yes. In boxing, in what weight division do Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury and David Hay normally compete? Light heavyweight. Heavyweight. What name is given to the period of Roman history between the death of Nero and the accession of Vespasian because of the number of leaders who reigned during that time? The three... No, the four. You're the four emperors. Which Spanish-born artist followed his blue period with a rose period? Picasso. Yes. What Broadway musical was based on a series of stories by the Jewish writer Sholem Aleichem called Tevye's Daughters? It was later made into a film. Fiddler on the Roof. Yep. What name is given to the pastoral staff or crook carried by Christian bishops that symbolises their role as shepherd of their diocese? Crozier. Yes. What variety of cooking apple is named after the butcher in whose garden in Nottinghamshire it was grown in the mid-19th century? 
Granny Smith. Bramley. What martial arts fantasy film was nominated in 2001 for Academy Awards in ten categories and won in four of them? Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Yes, what name for the class of mollusks that includes snails and slugs comes from the Greek for stomach and foot? Gastropod. Yep, the southern end of which well-known inland body of water lies less than 20 miles from the centre of Glasgow? Firth of Clyde. Loch Lomond. What East European language has a vocabulary primarily based on Latin with Slavic and other loan words? Romanian? Yes. Which actress was engaged to Emilio Estevez before she left him to marry Bruce Willis in 1987? Demi Moore? Yep. Which Australian state capital stands on the estuary of the Swan River? Brisbane? Perth. What product did the publisher Harold Raymond launch in 1932 after he observed that the numerous gifts at a party that he attended included only three literary works? Playboy. Book token. Which composer's daughter, Cosima, married Richard Wagner in 1870 after her marriage to the conductor, Hans von Bülow, was annulled? Beethoven. Franz Liszt. Pam, you have a total of 23 points. <laughs> and now Suraj again, please. And you start this round, Suraj, with 11 points in the bag. So, let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Here we go. What is the colour of the maple leaf and the two outer bands of the Canadian flag? Uh, red. Yes. In 2005, who became both the first woman and the first former East German citizen to be elected Chancellor of Germany? Angela Merkel. Yes. What name is given to the Arab-Israeli War of October 1973 because it started on a Jewish holy day? Yom Kippur. Yes. How were the pop duo Siobhan Fahi and Marcella Detroit better known? Bonnie and Clyde. Shakespeare's sister. Dr John Carter, Dr Kerry Weaver and head nurse Carol Hathaway were all characters in a long-running television hospital drama series. What series? Casualty. E.R. To which 18th century French writer are the words, I disapprove of what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it, attributed? Voltaire. Yes. Dry, moist and gas are the main types of a condition that results in the death of a section of body tissue with the area affected often becoming foul-smelling. What's that condition called? Frostbite. Gangrene. Calabrese and purple sprouting are both types of what vegetable? Brussels sprouts. Broccoli. What occupation did Samuel Johnson say that no man but a blockhead would indulge in except for money? Journalism. No, writing. Papiari, a village on the west coast of Tahiti, has been home to a museum dedicated to a 19th century French painter who lived there for two years. Which painter? Paul Gauguin. Yes. What event in track cycling takes its name from a celebrated sporting venue in New York that hosted a six-day cycle race? Uh, Madison Square Gardens. Yes, Madison. Who won a Best Actress Oscar for her role as Scarlett O'Hara in the film Gone with the Wind? Um, Catherine Hepburn. Vivian Lee. In the Bible, who distinguished himself as a warrior against the Philistines after Saul's death, he became King of Judah, subsequently also King of Israel? Uh, David. Yes. Which country lies between Morocco, Tunisia and Libya and extends deep into the Saharan Desert to the south? Algeria. Yes. In which south coast city in England did the British Airways I-360 tower open in August 2016? It's billed as the world's tallest moving observation tower. Brighton. Yes. In 1905, for which Russian ballerina did Michel Fokine create the brief dying swan solo to the music of Sanson? And pa Pavlova. Yes. Peanuts was created by which American cartoonist who died in 2000? Trudeau. Schultz. Which Hebridean island gave its name to a breed of terrier with a long flowing coat that reaches virtually to the ground? Highland Terrier. Sky. What kind of establishment is the Wolds in Humberside? In 1992, it became the first to be run by the private sector in the UK. A museum. A prison. Prison. Yeah. Suraj, you have scored 21 points. And now, Tony, again, please. And you start out, Tony, with the 12 points. 23 is still the score to beat. So let's see if you can do it. Here we go. What name is given to the holiday that Americans celebrate on the 4th of July? Uh, Independence Day. Yep. In the early chapters of a controversial novel first published in 1928, the central character has an affair with an Irish playwright called Michaelis. Which novel? Pass. What is the southernmost of the main West Indian islands? 
uh, Trindam Tebeke. Yes. What common alternative name of the Antirrhinum comes from its flowers that supposedly resemble the face and mouth of a mythical creature? Daffodil. Snapdragon. Who returned to the leadership of the Green Party of England and Wales when she was elected joint leader with Jonathan Barclay in September 2016? Pass. Which Shakespearean hero kills Tybalt in a duel in revenge for his friend Mercutio's death? Uh, Romeo. Yes. In basketball, what term is used for a single hit that enables a batter to make a complete circuit of the bases? Strike. A home run. In 1980, which vocalist teamed up with the Electric Light Orchestra on the number one single, Xanadu? Pass. Which 1960s spin-off series features the adventures of the title character April Dance, played by Stephanie Powers, and Mark Slate in their fight to preserve world peace? Uh, Sapphire and Steel. The girl from Ankul. What is the dominant religion in India in terms of the number of adherents? Uh, Hindu. Yes. The Anglo-Dutch sculptor Grinding Gibbons was particularly famous for working in stone and what other medium? Uh, metal. Wood. Which Quentin Tarantino film opens with a young couple called Pumpkin and Honey Bunny chatting in a coffee shop before they decide to rob it? Pulp Fiction. Yes. Who became Queen of Scotland in December 1542 when she was only six days old? Mary. Yep. Smart One was launched in September 2003 and was the European Space Agency's first probe to which celestial body? Jupiter. The moon. What French phrase is used for a restaurant meal offered at a fixed price with a limited choice of dishes? It's also known as prefix. Um, pass. Barton Aerodrome opened in 1930, was Britain's first licensed municipal airport and was the first to serve which northern city? Manchester. Yes. What word can mean a hat worn by a bishop and a joint used in picture framing? A mitre. Yes. On which stringed instrument was the Austrian-born composer Fritz Kreisler a virtuoso performer? Violin. Yes. What was the real first name of the guerrilla leader Che Guevara? Uh, Julio. Ernesto. What term now generally applied to cheap jewellery used to decorate clothes was originally used for gemstones cut from rock crystals found in a German river? Paste. Yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't it? Rhinestones. You had uh, four passes. Table d'hote is that All right. fixed price menu that we're both trying to think of. Olivia Newton-John was the uh, singer who teamed up with the Electric Light Orchestra and gave us a Xanadu. Caroline Lucas was the leader, is still, as we speak, anyway, yep. the leader of the <laughs> Green Party, again. And um, the book, Lady Chatterley's Lover. Yeah. You have, Tony, 21 points. <laughs> And finally, Michael again, please. And you have 14 to start with, Michael, and 23 still the score to beat if you were to get through to the semi-finals. Here we go. Who wrote the horror novels The Shining, Carrie and Needful Things? Stephen King. Yep. What's the nationality of the former Grand Slam tennis champions Kim Clijsters and Justine Hennin? Belgium. Yep. The 11th century Anglo-Saxon noblewoman, the wife of Leofric, Earl of Mercia, is best known by what name? Pass. Who plays John Link, a former convict who reunites with his estranged daughter to protect her from a drug cartel that wants to kill her in the 2016 film Blood Father? Pass. In which South American country are the Angel Falls? Uh, Peru. Venezuela. In physics, what term is used for a space completely free of matter? Vacuum. Yeah. What is the title of the single that gave Clean Bandit, featuring Sean Paul and Anne-Marie, the UK Christmas number one in 2016? Pass. Which impressionist artist painted Masked Ball at the Opera, which features a depiction of the composer Chavrier? Pass. Which 1863 novel by Charles Kingsley highlights the plight of boy chimney sweeps in the relationship between young Tom and his cruel master, Mr Grimes? Pass. In the television soap opera Emmerdale, Amos Brearley and Henry Wilkes were both landlords of which village pub? The Ram's Head. The Woolpack. The Mouse King is one of the characters in which ballet by Tchaikovsky? The Nutcracker. Yes. Tony Benn jokingly said when he announced that he was standing down as MP for Chesterfield in 2001 that he was giving up Parliament to spend more time on... 
politics. Yes. What piece of military equipment did Perseus use as a mirror when he killed the Gorgon Medusa? Because looking at her directly would have turned into stone. Shield. Yes. What was the surname of the American brothers who developed dry breakfast foods? They were largely responsible for the growth of the breakfast cereal industry in the 20th century. Catalog. Yes. Cadmon, who is said to have been the first poet writing in English, lived at an abbey founded by St Hilda. Its ruins are above which North Yorkshire resort? Skegness. Whitby. Which generally black beef cattle take their name from the two former counties in North East Scotland where they were originally bred? Aberdeen Angus. Yes. What word for a person who is easily manipulated and expendable is also the name of a chess piece of low value? Pawn. Yes. Who became the first female commissioner of the Metropolitan Police in its 188-year history when she replaced Sir Bernard Hogan Howe in February 2017? Pass. What is the present name of the organisation for girls that was originally called the Rosebuds? Girl Guides. Brownie Guides. You have uh, six passes. Cressida Dick became the commissioner, the first woman commissioner of the Metropolitan Police. The Water Babies was that book. Manet was the impressionist artist who painted Mask Ball at the Opera. Rockabye was the title of the single in 2016. And Mel Gibson plays John Link and... The 11th century Anglo-Saxon noblewoman was Lady Godiva. Six passes, Michael. You have scored 23 points. Well, it doesn't get closer than that. Let's have a look at the scores. Joint third place, 21 points apiece. Suraj and Tony, second place, 23 points and Seven passes, Michael. First place, 23 points and one pass, Pam. Which means that Pam is tonight's winner and she goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to her. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk, stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter, at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>